Isa sa mga naghahari at kinakatakutan noon sa flyweight division ay ang Armenian knockout artist na si Vic Darchinian. Taong 2000 ang pasukin ni Vic Darchinian ang professional boxing at mula nga noon ay nagkasunod-sunod na ang panalo nito. Hanggang sa mapalaban na nga ito sa isang world title taong 2004 kontra sa undefeated at nooy IBF flyweight world champion na si Irene Pacheco. Kung saan tinalo nga ito ni Vic Darchinian sa pamamagitan ng 11th round TKO para maagaw ang IBF title. Kada bil astanovlen boy vedu tekhnichskog nakauta. Pobeda Vika ili Vakshanga. Sa kanyang sumunod na laban naman ay naidagdag ni Darchinian sa kanyang titulo ang IBO flyweight world title nang talunin niya at pagretiruhin ang South African boxer na si Muxi Sakali. At pagkatapos nga noon ay tuloy-tuloy ang pananalasa ni Darchinian sa flyweight division kung saan limang beses nitong matagumpay na nadepensahan ang kanyang mga titulo at lahat ng itapat dito ay knockout ang inaabot. Hanggang sa taong 2007 ay nakaharap nito ang ating kababayan na si Nonito Dunaire Jr. Nang mga panahong iyon ay hindi pa kilala si Nonito Dunaire, kaya naman marami ang nag-akala na lalamunin lang ng buhay ni Darchinian ang ating kababayan. Sa katunayan ay heavy underdog si Dunaire sa kanilang laban, ngunit may personal na mission si Dunaire sa laban nila ni Vic Darchinian. Ito nga ay ang maiganti ang kanyang kuya na una nang tinalo ng Armenian boxer noong 2006 matapos nitong basagi ng panga ng kuya ni Dunaire. Ang laban nila noon nito Dunaire at Big Darchinian ay ginanap sa Connecticut, USA at bago nga ang kanilang bakbakan ay may malinis na kartada noon si Big Darchinian na 28 wins, 0 loss at may 22 KO. Habang ang ating kababayan naman na si Nonito Dunaire ay may record noong 17 wins, 1 loss at may 10 KO. Sa unang round ay maagang nakalusot ang mga suntok ni Dunaire sa mukha ni Darchinian, habang si Darchinian naman ay tila ba nilalaro lang si Dunaire. Can a Darchinian who's a fighter that comes forward deal with? Donaire's attacking him much more than I expected right at the beginning. Darchinian, not a particularly fast starter in general. It'll be interesting to see if he, he gets right to it here. He did start unusually fast against Nonito's brother Glenn, who incidentally told the younger Nonito that Darchinian does not hit hard, and you can see the punches coming. Darchinian's response, he was toying with Glenn that night, he didn't punch as hard as he usually does. Big left uppercut attempt though by Donaire, that fits. Two things have happened. The right hand is landing for Donaire, but the left is landing by Darchinian. But I think Nonito Donaire has made Vic Darchinian think about his power already. And a wild swing and a miss with the left by uh, Darchinian. The free swinging Darchinian is being tested right out of the gate here. But to be honest, in the first half of round one, he's been hit more than we've seen in all the fights, and he's getting whacked by Donaire. He just got hit. That was a shot. He just got his first round. Now, the danger in all this is Donaire better not get too brave. Donaire back. Donaire has skills, no question. Straight right hand to the chest. He's versatile, he's paid up, which is the correct thing to do. And another wild swing and a miss there by a Darchinian left can really wear you down. Boy, Donaire uh, kind of buckled there. In the red and white, 17 and one with 10 knockouts. The champion Darchinian of the black trucks, Donaire. A huge underdog, yet he feels Darchinian has built his record on washed-up fighters and guys moving up in weight to his left to try to get away from his power, the left hand. So he'll try to surprise him with the right. There it is, right there on cue. You know what I'm surprised at, and, and it's a good weapon. Left hand by Donaire to the head. Him sometimes in fights since. Oh, Darchinian got nailed, and then he came back. Here's a right hand, a miss by the Donaire with the left hand. And it is really heating up here in round two. Numb's way of those Dartinian big punches. And there has to be extremely focused against the, the awkward, perky, jerky moves of, of uh, Vic Dartinian. 
of which uh, he has been highly combustible later on. Kind of push Donaire back with heavy lefts there as Dart Shen in, but the Donaire standing his ground, looking tough. Final seconds of round two. What is developing into an interesting affair. Well, as we... Sa pagpapatuloy ng laban, ay patuloy din ang pagkonekta ng mga suntok ni Donaire kay Darchinian. Habang si Darchinian naman ay nag-aabang lang makakonekta ng isang solid punch. Darchinian is finding the range with the, uh, with the straight left, but I... The... Bail him out. And when he straightens out those lefts, the power is compounded like just now. Donaire has more well-rounded skills than uh, Darchinian. Darchinian usually just looks for that one punch to end it. He's kind of undisciplined, but it, it seems to work for him. Well, you know, Vic Darchinian changes fighters when they come in the ring, and he's right. Once they've felt his positive, if they change, they can't use their skills. That hasn't happened yet to Nonito Donaire, but that's a good left hand by Darchinian. Oftentimes, it's difficult to stay outside box move counter uh, against Darchinian. You have to sort of get in his chest. Push it back, make it. Fainted Darchinian, and you saw Darchinian react. Big straight left hand right on the button by Vic Darchinian. That nailed Donaire. Oh, there's a good left hand that staggered Darchinian. Remember, he's never been hurt or dropped in his career. Sensing the moment. Darchinian battles back. Donaire marching forward. Pacing is another hard left hand to the chin by Donaire. Ironic that a left hook has been the big weapon for Donaire. Surprising. What a huge finish to round for a portent of things to come because there's a good counter left hook by Donaire that hurt. Darchinian and change that in this situation. Round four, scheduled for 12, IBF flyweight title. Darchinian's belt on the line. Darchinian's undefeated record at stake as well. You know, Darchinian's dad is here to see his fight. Only the second time he's seen his son fight as a pro. He's got to be a little nervous at this point. Tense moments for Ruben Darchinian. The first trip to the United. Just tasting a straight left hand from Darchinian. Darchinian's able to get that left hand, when he, especially when he uses the jab. I think moment is, it appears as if Donaire is letting him off the hook. Now, that right hand by Donaire was blocked by the left glove of Darchinian. Straight left hand by Darchinian to the chest, pushes Donaire back. Again, the counter left took by Donaire. You know, the problem with Darchinian is when he rushes in, defense is not something he remembers much. And Donaire has been able to take advantage. Who has a big height and reach advantage stays on the outside. Nice counter left there by Donaire. Another counter there by Darchinian. And a spin around move by Donaire. And Eddie Claudio is saying, don't do that. I kind of thought it was fun. <laughs> Works better in basketball. Yeah, it's true. Final seconds of the round. And Darchinian ends it with a straight left to the chest. Glenn Donaire, a face-first brawler. And Donito more of a, a tactical technician. And Donito Donaire has some physical attributes, too, that his brother doesn't have. He's taller, he's got the reach. Five underway, scheduled for 12. IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion Darchinian in the black. Struggling a little bit with the challenger in the red, Nonito Donaire. Nice shot to the you know, body there by Donaire. Exactly, Stephen. The body work Donaire's done over the first four and a half rounds could pay dividends later in the fight. Donaire thinks he'll own the later rounds. Uh, in, in his last 12-round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that decision. He feels he's going to be... Sherman Kane from the Manchester Journal Inquirer here in Connecticut. Mark Abrams, 15rounds.com. Jack Obermeyer from Boxing Digest. That'll be under the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh, oh look out! Darchinian down for the first time! Five. Struggling to get to his feet in terrible shape. It's all over! Matapos tamaan ng solidong counter left hook sa round five, ay bumagsak nga si Darchinian. Sinubukan pa naman itong tumayo, ngunit parang lasing itong bumagsak uli. 
kaya naman ay tinigil na agad ang laban. Isang malaking upset nga ang nagawa ni Nonito Dunaire dahil marami ang nagakala na madali lang tatalunin ni Vic Darcinia ng ating kababayan. At dahil nga sa panalong iyon ay naagaw ni Dunaire ang IVF at IBO Flyweight World Title ni Vic Darcinia. At dahil na rin sa ganda ng pagkakanockout ay itinanghal ito bilang 2007 knockout of the year. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash Nonito Donaire. Mahigit anim na taon ay nagkaroon ng rematch sila Donaire at Darchinian. At doon nga ay muling tinalo ni Dunaire si Vic Darchinian sa pamamagitan ng 9th round TKO. Bago tayo matapos ay shoutout muna sa ating mga tagapanood. Hanggang dito na lang mga boss, sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating video. Salamat sa panonood.